Okay, today we're going to go over a Macdon FD75. Now we move on to our drapers. We'll inspect our drapers. And then we will also, like on our center ones, we'll remove the drapers so that we can check our deck plates underneath and our rollers. On your drapers, you'll want to inspect them. As you can see, this one has a line in it. This one is probably okay to run yet. It doesn't have a hole worn through it. But if you do have big holes in here, it's something you want to address because dirt and stuff gets down inside of your drapers. When it comes to loosening your drapers, we were talking, your center drapers to loosen the tension. There's two jam nuts on the back side of the header towards the front where the head of the bolt is. There's also two jam nuts. Those are the two that you want to loosen up <clears throat> and screw all the way down to the other two. And then by doing that, this allows the tension to come off from the spring and then your whole draper head will slide backwards. This little bolt in here, some people think they have to take that out. That does not have to come out. The only time you'd have to take that out, there's a spring in here. If that spring was broken, you would have to remove this little bolt then to get that spring out. And now that little bolt is as a guide, so when we tension it back up, this little bolt here should be loose. There should be no tension on that from that spring no more. When tightening this back up, this should be level in this square tube right here. But sometimes you got to get in a little farther or back a little bit, depending, so that you're not dog tracking your draper so that both sides are even and pulling the same. If you ever do put new drapers in and stuff, make sure that you always drag the nut behind so that the head of the bolt is going first so it's not catching product as it's pulling in. Otherwise it catches this way the product will slide off the bolt as it goes around the back roller. So once we get those all out, we will inspect our rollers. Just basically what we're looking to do is to make sure that our rollers spin freely. We don't have any bearings out. Our bearings that sound rough. If we do, we want to get those out of there and replace them. Also on the side draper rollers, they have bearings on the drive one on the bottom. There's a bolt down in here. It takes a 15 16 wrench. You can pull that bolt out and then this arm here will pull back and you can lift this roller up and out of here and check your bearing in there. On the other end by your motor, there is two set screws that hold that on to the motor. It's a keyway. If you see them start walking off, you'll want to address that because they will take the keyway out of your motor and out of your roller and you'll end up having to replace both of them. If you ever wonder if yours has been replaced, the updated motor is a gray colored motor. And a good thing to remember guys, if these motors are leaking, replace them right away. Do not let them fail. If they fail, you'll have debris all the way back to your main valve on your header and then you will have issues trying to get all that metal out of there. It gets caught up in the spools. Then on your header in the front of your drapers is the C channel and these up in here will pack full of dirt. They get plugged up with mud and what happens is it stops your drapers or your drapers start wearing on all the mud and dirt in there because once the mud dries out it gets just like a rock in there. Also on this C channel in your deck plate, as you can see in here, there's an adjustment and there's uh, about five or six of them along the whole deck plate. You'll want to make sure you adjust these. If you get a brand new canvas, these might have been adjusted up from the used one. The 3 8 Allen wrench is what we use as a guide. They should lay flat down. And that's to be about right. For older, a good rule of thumb is using a 5 16 Allen wrench. And you can see it should lay just about flat. If they're too low, you'd be able to move this back end. If it was laying flat, there'd be room back here to move. That would be too low. The thing needs to come up. And they're made by the adjustment. It takes a 3 quarter inch wrench to loosen the clip that holds the deck plate. And you can slide it up and down as you need. And you want to start out on the outside of the head and work your way to the center. On the old 2162, the FD70s, they did not have, as you can see in this one, has a bolt in here where it can pivot. The older ones was straight metal and they would start wearing through here. There's a kit available through Macdon, which the part number is 220196. 
and that will allow you to put this pivot bolt in here there's a couple plates that got to be welded in on both sides and then you put this bolt and then you cut some of the metal out so that it would look like this one does now and you'll end up with one of these extra braces to be put in there on the older heads to support the deck plate and it just involves some welding and then you just got to cut this out on the older heads as you can see this one has a new kit I mean, I know a lot of the 2162's and FD70's are starting to wear out down in here also I have seen on the FD75's with the new kit we have seen some cracking on this deck plate so you do also want to get in there and inspect that if you have an FD75. On the older, the 2162, the FD70's, a lot of them on the front of the drapers they had chain links. If you still have the old chain links I'd suggest replacing them. They have a kit available which the kit part number is a 123719 and what that does is it replaces the chain links with this ball linkage and that there is much better the chain links wear through and break and when they break you fold your whole center draper underneath your header and that kit it gives you instructions how to weld it in there it does not take very long to install that kit at all also on the front of your draper heads they have a seed saver kit some of the older headers did not have it as you can see this one does there's these corner pieces on both sides it helps to stop from the center of the side draper pulling product back down around with it there's also one that goes by the center draper so that product can't fall in between the area of the deal and your front as you can see this belting is kind of wore out already this one needs to be replaced and that belt should probably come back about to this area if it was new again and that's to allow crop from not getting pulled down in behind and that kit is available from MacDon and it's part number 279028